Oasis Audio presents Jolt by Philip Howard Cook. Read for you by Bill DeWeese. Introduction. Living in a disrupted world. Jolt. To disturb. To shock. To interfere with abruptly. To shake things up. I don't have to convince you the world is changing. Globalization has changed business. The media have changed our perceptions. Culture has changed our values. And technology has changed everything. We live in the instant world of mobile phones, text messaging, and social networking. In the digital universe, word travels fast and change is overwhelming, often happening without warning. For better or worse, disruption is the word that best describes 21st century living. But the question is, as the world around us changes, have we changed? How have we adapted to the turmoil that surrounds our lives? Perhaps more important, have our personal lives kept pace with radically escalating technology? You're about to begin a journey that will have enormous impact on your life. The principles of this book will work for those with a passion to change their company, their community, or their lives. From corporate CEOs to rising visionaries to housewives, this book could be the answer you've been looking for. In a world where the very foundations you've believed in all your life are crumbling, how do you move forward toward your purpose? Sure, everyone tells us we need to change. But how do we actually do it? Especially in a world where it seems as if the rules are just being made up. And it's not getting any easier. Disruption is not just theoretical. It's personal. According to John Freeman, author of The Tyranny of Email, 65% of North Americans spend more time with their computer than their spouse. Email is addictive in the same way slot machines have shown to be addictive. In 2009, it's been estimated the average corporate worker spent more than 40% of his or her day sending or receiving some 200 email messages. Information overload is a $650 billion drag on our economy each year. In a world home to 6 billion people, roughly 600 million emails are sent every 10 minutes. Email is changing the way we read and communicate. 77% of workers report that email downtime causes major stress at work, with 10% actually assaulting their computers. As a result, some psychologists are actually pushing to have Internet addiction broadly classified as a clinical disorder. But Freeman isn't the only media prophet warning us about the impact of technological disruption. In his blog, http colon forward slash forward slash socialnomics.net forward slash, based on the book Socialnomics, Eric Qualman lists mind-boggling statistics about how social media has impacted our culture. In 2010, Generation Y outnumbered baby boomers. 96% of them have already joined a social network. One out of eight couples married in the United States in the last year met via social media. If Facebook were a country, it would be the world's third largest between the United States and India. A 2009 U.S. Department of Education study revealed that, on average, online students outperform those receiving face-to-face -face instruction. One in six higher education students is enrolled in online curriculum. The fastest growing segment on Facebook is 55 to 65 year old females. Ashton Kutcher and Ellen DeGeneres combined have more Twitter followers than the populations of Ireland, Norway or Panama. Generation Y and Z consider email passe. In 2009, Boston College stopped distributing email addresses to incoming freshmen. There are more than 200 million blogs, increasing daily and 54% of bloggers post content or tweet daily. Because of the speed in which social media enables communication, word of mouth now becomes world of mouth. 78% of consumers trust peer recommendations, but only 14% trust advertisements. 25% of Americans in the past month said they watched a short video on their phone. In the near future, we will no longer... Sample complete. Ready to continue?